So today we got our first look at the Super Mario Brothers theatrical motion picture coming out in 2023. Not the first theatrical Mario film because that would be 30 years ago in 1993 starring John Leguizamo and, you know, Dennis Hopper and it was like a real life thing and it was a weird movie. It was very loose, loose. And when I say loose, I mean looser than a porn star's vagina loose adaptation of the uh, story I, I don't even want to call it an adaptation this however this is totally different so what they've decided to do is nintendo's partnered up with illumination the film is a cg animated adventure story no different than stuff like that pixar would do and uh, it's much more accurate to the video games the teaser came out we saw the invasion of the Mushroom Kingdom. We saw Bowser appear, the king of the Koopas. He's going to invade. He wants the invisibility star, uh, invincibility star, excuse me. And he has arrived. And we, we, the whole teaser trailer just showed like him arriving. His voice is a little bit off. I kind of expected Bowser to be a bit more grovelly, like sort of like how he was in the comics. But um, he shows up and it is what it is. Then, for a brief second, we get an introduction to Mario, as Mario, for the very first time, like he did back in the 80s, lands in the Mushroom Kingdom. And this Mario looks like Mario. It's not any unique look or different adaptation. All the characters look exactly how they're supposed to look based on their video game counterparts. Mario looks like Mario. Bowser looks like Bowser. Toad is here. Um, they all are accurate. There's no sort of changes being made, you know... Even with the Sonic the Hedgehog film, you know, Jim Carrey does not really look like Eggman, not until the second film. And even then, Jim Carrey's a bit too thin to be Eggman because Eggman's a big, jolly, fat guy. Uh, maybe not jolly, but you know what I mean. Big, overweight dude. Whereas um, Jim Carrey's pretty thin, you know. And But he still did a great job. I'm not saying he wasn't great at the role. It's just that he doesn't look the part as much as some of the other characters have, what, like Sonic and Knuckles and... And tails. This, on the other hand, first of all, it was very smart for them to make the film fully CG. I don't think there's going to be any human characters here. Like when I say human, I mean like actual human beings, like non animation, live action. I don't think they're doing that here. I think it is just going to be the video game brought to life. And honestly, that's exactly what it should be. That's all we really want. Yes, Sonic the Hedgehog did have the human characters. Yes, Sonic the Hedgehog did incorporate a storyline between Sonic um, and his in, his um, indoctrination, I guess you can say, into the human world. There are some references to the video games, but it's not really the video game storyline. Here we have sort of a retelling of those early Mario games. Mario meets Toad for the first time. He goes to the Mushroom Kingdom. They did not show Peach. They did show Luigi, however, at the very end of the trailer, running into what appears to be a mansion. So... That's pretty cool. Mario and Luigi look exactly like how they're supposed to look, and that's great. Now, from the very beginning, the controversy has been with Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt plays Mario, and he's fine. Like, we only hear him for a second. He's fine. Would I have preferred Charles Martinet, who's been playing the role for decades? Yes. Would I have preferred the original voices, from, or at least from the video game voices? Of course, but... Nowadays, films are a business. Chris Pratt is a very well-known star actor. And so putting his name on something is going to, in their minds, I don't know if I agree with this because I don't think kids really give a damn, but in their minds, that's putting a, a name to, the, to a film increases its box office. I don't think that matters for a movie like this. I think this movie's targeted for kids and for grown-ups who love the Mario Brothers video games. That's what this is about. You don't have to hire Jack Black. You don't have to hire Chris Pratt. You don't have to do these things. You don't have to. But it's been it's something that's been going on since even going back to Disney. If you remember the the 90s Disney films, a lot of even before the 90s, they had a few pretty big name actors in them. You know, and they kind of kept going and going into other animation films and animation studios like DreamWorks. Uh, we saw movies like Happy Feet, you know, they brought in Beyonce and all these different actors that are like sort of mainstream singers and actors to voice these characters, but it's not really necessary. However, the good news is Based on the little that we heard, Chris Pratt sounds fine. Now, 
He's not overdoing the Italian accent from what we saw. It sounds a bit more grounded. Toad, I believe, is voiced by Jack Black, and he's fine. Uh, I'm curious about how they're going to portray Peach because Peach is... I, I have, like, the way I always picture Peach sounding is how she sounds in the... Um, in the uh, Mars the Four game, Mario, come to the castle. That's how I picture her sounding, right? Now, on top of that, we've got Luigi. And, and when it comes to Mario and Luigi, I think the voices that really, really resonate with me are Captain Lou, who unfortunately passed away and is longer with us, as Mario, but that can't happen. So we've got Chris Pratt, and it is what it is. But... He did a pretty good job in this trailer from what we saw. The effects looked good. It did look very much like a cutscene. I know a lot of folks compared like Dragon Ball Super Superhero and said that looked like a video game cutscene. And for, for some of the shots, it definitely did. This looked like a video game cutscene just expounded out to be a movie. I'm definitely going to go see it next April. And I'm sure most fans of this franchise will as well. What did you think about the Mario teaser? Let me know down below. I look forward to seeing more in the future.